Well hello and welcome to the short video which we will look at the steps required to undertake a VSAN assessment. So why would you be watching this video? Well you are a reseller who knows about VSAN and wants an end user to trial it in their environment. This way you get a report that tells you exactly how to design your VSAN solution so that it gives all the performance and resiliency required for your end users applications. So let's jump into it. First of all, we need to open up a web browser and go to vip.vmware.com. If you're a reseller and this is the first time coming to the site, you'll need to register. Now, there is a specific registration URL that you'll need to get from your distributor, which is Westcon. Once you have that registration URL, fill out the required necessary forms and you'll get an email and that email will simply tell you that you've signed up with the VMware Infrastructure Planner. Right, so you sign up to the VMware Infrastructure Planner and you sign in. Once we sign in we can see the assessment dashboard. Under the assessment dashboard we have some sample vSAN assessments and we also have a vSAN assessment that I completed of the Westcon Leap Center earlier. So to create a new assessment we go up to the right hand side and click the new assessment button. And we select the vSAN assessment. Now what we need to do now is create an appropriate title for this vSAN assessment. and also enter the client's name. We also need to enter the customer's email. Now the person who you input at this field will get all the notifications associated with the vSAN assessment. In our particular scenario there's no Salesforce ID and this is definitely a customer facing assessment. So let's click create. Right, so we've created a new vSAN assessment. But what does it look like from the customer side? Well, when we input the customer's email address, they get an email saying that they've been invited by yourself at whatever reseller to participate in a VMware Virtual SAN assessment. What do they need to do? Well, I have created a video which shows their steps on how they deploy the collector appliance, install the necessary VIBs to ensure the vSAN assessment gets underway. But to give you a quick sneak peek, once logged in, you can see here that they also can see the assessment associated with their name. Now if I refresh this page, I can also see the new vSAN assessment that we just created. The steps for the customer in order to carry out a vSAN assessment has already been captured in a video. This video can be viewed by going to the Westcon YouTube channel. The link is below. Right, so your customer signed up and you know that because you've been given an email stating that. The first step within a vSAN assessment from a customer perspective is to download the collector appliance. What this email tells you is that your end user has done exactly that. The end user has also installed the required VIBs on the host upon which they will be capturing data about their virtual machines. This email sent to you by the VMware Infrastructure Planner tells you this. Now, all you have to do is wait the designated number of days for the vSAN assessment to finish. This can be anywhere from 7 to 14. At the end of that period, you'll get another email, and that email simply states that the period upon which the vSAN assessment was supposed to run has completed. Right, 
So now this is where you take over once again. So you jump into the VMware Infrastructure Planner page, you click on the assessment that has now finished collecting data, and we start to analyze their environment. Now, what the vSAN assessment is going to tell you is whether the vSAN solution should be a hybrid or an all-flash. In this particular case, it has recommended a hybrid vSAN solution. It also gives you what you should specify as your read cache, the minimum usable capacity, and also gives you stats around the cache hit rate and also the number of failures to tolerate. So we can see here that it has recommended a very, very simple and basic vSAN solution for our environment. It's good to know that it's not trying to over-engineer the solution. Right, so now that you have all the information associated with the user's environment, VMware Infrastructure Planner has given you a vSAN architectural design for which you can go back to the end user and show them that based on the VMs that they analyzed, this is the vSAN solution for them. And it's that easy. I hope you enjoy using this tool and thank you for watching this video.